Saturday night. Just got home from the bar. Felt like blogging. How's it going? Fuck me. Had a good night. Went out with some friends. Uh, long weekend. Went to the gay bar, of course. Where else do you? What else do you do on a long weekend? And uh, yeah, really good time. Dressed up nice. And man, I don't know. It is hard to attract a guy. I don't know if it's different from like gay guys' perspective to maybe like a straight woman's perspective. So went out tonight, wanted to look good, you know, dressed up, dress shirt, you know, some suspenders, a cap, and you know, had a good time. But man, I don't know. Some guy, some I don't understand. It's so easy for some guys to just go out there, go to the bar, and just like that, like they can just attract guys to them, and it's just. It's like some inherent magnet, and I don't know if it's, well, obviously if you're hot, of course, it just happens for you, right? Because you look good, people just like gravitate towards you. And then there's also just like, people always say, you know, if you have like a, this confident and um, positive kind of energy, people will get drawn to that too. And I guess that's, you know, true to an extent, but I don't know. You know, I try, when I go to the bar, I just want to go out and have fun and dance and drink and just have a good time. And I feel like even if you go with like this attitude, like you're confident and you're having fun, it's just, it's so hard. I don't know if it's in the gay community, but... You know, you, you work really hard, you, you, you want to like have a great body, you have like this image where like the tip, you want to, you have to like work out all the time and you have to, I don't know, you know, have good fashion sense and you have to have like great skin and you have to be, one of these things I feel like is like, I know it's horrible to say, but I feel like the fact that I'm not white, like the fact that I'm, you know, Asian works against me because I feel like in, you know, our North American culture, um, we really kind of desexualize, you know, minorities such as, you know, Asian or maybe Indian or all these other, you know, non-white ethnicities just kind of you know when you look on TV um, how often do you see someone that's not white I feel like you know on TV you know if, if they cover white and they cover black I feel like that's like oh okay so you know we have somebody that's not white so here we go we've got we've covered all the diversity we've covered all the ethnicities like that's fine and when they do, you know, have somebody that's Asian or uh, any, you know, other ethnicity, it's portrayed as something like non-sexy, I don't know. And it just sucks, like, I don't think anybody should feel like because they're not a certain way that makes them undesirable and I think it sucks that if you if you grow up and you're around like a society that just continually portrays like what's sexy is to be you know white and fit and young and, and if you're if you don't fit this then that means you're not attractive and if you get bombarded by this enough then you just start to believe that, right? And it's just, it's hard. It's really hard. And then, you know, you'll get people that do like, find you attractive, but they find you attractive because they feel like you're exotic and you're, you become, you know, not just like a person, you become like some sort of 
object that because you're different that you know and I don't know. It's so complicated. I hate it. <sighs> anyway, so I'm home from the bar now. Of course, you know, nothing happened. Um, you know, met up with some great friends that uh, um, I haven't seen in a little while. Met some new, some new people. Um, holy shit! Oh. Uh, Randomly met uh, Jesse Duke, um, which was crazy, which is <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, my friend Steve was at the bar, and then all of a sudden he's like, "Oh, yeah, I know. Here's my friend." And I look over, I'm like, "Oh, I know who that is." Kind of weird, you know, because of YouTube, small world, right? Um, so yeah, met uh, met him too. And uh, yes, he is as good looking in real life as he is on YouTube. Everybody ended up leaving, so here I am now at home. I'm excited, I think tomorrow night we're going to have a like horror movie night here. Well, I was at my friend's place and was like wasted and thought, hey, we should have a scary movie night. So I think today, technically today, um, well, I'll come over and watch The Conjuring, which I thought was pretty scary. It may not be as scary for you guys. Uh, if you're by yourself and you watch it, and it's nighttime and the lights are off, well, I think it'd be pretty scary. Just felt like going on a ramble tonight, I guess. So I hope everybody will have a good long weekend if you're in Canada, because I don't think in the states or anywhere else really. It's a long weekend so have a good long weekend for Remembrance Day yeah have a good night